Welcome back to another problem. Um, here we are looking at this um, saw plate. And this plate has the dimension of uh, 125 for the outer part. Um, and then on the inside where the hole is, is the radius of 20. We have all these teeth here. Um, each of them is 40.1. All right, so to do this problem, um, this is how I do it. You ready? Bam. All right, as you can see, there's a lot of um, things here that's going on, but that's easy to do. So I counted the I counted the teeth, and there are a total of 36 of them. Um, so to do that, this is how I uh, draw the problem. I'm going to go ahead and go to my center line real quick. I'm going to click on it. And I will, um, I will, I guess I can do that um, in center line. And I will go ahead and create the 125. And then I'll do it again, the 109.2. Then one more um, would be the either of the 20 or the 34.7. Um, I'm just going to do one of them because uh, later on I have to get rid of them before I can finish the problem. So now with that is done, I'm going to also construct a vertical segment like so. All right. Now I got the circle of 360. So I'm going to do an array of this one here. And we are going to do 36 of those. Okay. Close it. Now we have that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom into any of this location as you can see. So my problem, I, I draw it up there, but we can go anywhere. So I'm gonna go right here. Um, let's stay somewhere on top so I can see the dimension real quick, please. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click on this location here. Um, I'm gonna put in 40.1 for my first one. I forgot, I believe I used that one. And then the second one I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same one, 40.1. And that intersection right there is where I'm going to go ahead and construct a circle up of 40.1. That you can see is connecting those locations for me. Okay. So with that being said, this two right here is now gone. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click on this down here to connect it. I think I did that. Um, then we're going to zoom in. We're going to go ahead and trim out this section here. Escape. We're going to get rid of that as well. Um, then what we're going to do is I'm going to go to Array. I'm going to click on this two segment. Hit Enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and rotate around that. 36 time. All right, it's close. As you can see, that is how it looked now. And I can go ahead, I can turn off my center line layer, as you can see. So you guys can see that, right? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto my circle and I am to draw a circle. But first, I guess I need to turn back on my center line real quick so I can have a circle to draw a circle so I can share that center point. So this is going to be 20. And then here I can just turn it off now so I can I can see everything else. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to use that to draw the uh, let's go back to my construction layer. This go to 34.7. And then that right there is uh, finished. Um, that's it. All you have to do is just take out your dimensions. And for those who um, need to get your dimension of your art, I go into this. There's too many uh, green lines there. So I'm going to go into my dimensions. And in here, I reconstruct my um, 109.2 as well as the 125 and then I just start taking out my dimension of uh, of that All right, section 
uh, when I'm done with that section, I can take out the dimension of the other section, which is this right here. Um, let's do it over here. Um, and then what I'm doing after that is I just go ahead and trim out the section that I could and then get rid of it. That way I can have the dimensions there for that. Um, and then also take out the dimension for um, the part that we need. Come on, 20 in radius. All right, this problem is fun and it's done. Thank you, enjoy.